Well guys, it is officially official. We all saw this coming based off the leaks the past couple of days, but Black Ops 4 is Call of Duty 2018. It's coming out later this year and it was officially confirmed today via this video, this little announcement trailer you guys are seeing on screen. It was kind of a mashup of moments from all of the Black Ops series so far. And at the end, we had a huge surprise. The release date for this game is actually October 12th. We have never had a Call of Duty game release in October before, so this is groundbreaking, man. This is a month earlier than it normally does, and uh, I mean, obviously I'm very excited about that. We get to play Call of Duty a month earlier, so that's great. I don't know why they're doing it though. Like it, this year is just so weird because we're getting the game announced so early. We've never had it announced in March before. And then it's also coming out early. So like, I, I don't know, man, we're, we're in for a really interesting year. And uh, another date that they gave us was that May 17th is gonna be the reveal for the game. So that's where we're gonna see like gameplay, a trailer, maybe a live stream, that sort of thing. They said it was gonna be a community event. So that's good. We're gonna be able to check the game out in May. And uh, at the end of the trailer, pretty much the only thing that I really took notice of is the new tagline. It says, forget what you know. I went through the entire trailer frame by frame. I didn't see anything. Like I said, it was just kind of a mashup of, of all the previous Black Ops games. But forget what you know. Hmm, that's a pretty interesting tagline. If you take a look at the description of the game, it says, Black Ops is back in what represents a game-changing experience COD Black Ops 4 will revolutionize the top-selling series in Call of Duty history. So we're talking about game-changing and revolutionizing something. Now, to be fair, every single year we have these huge keywords. Last year it was definitely visceral. COD World War II is going to be a visceral new experience. You know, revolutionize I feel like has been used before, but when you really look at that, I mean, I feel like there's a theme going on here. Game changing, revolutionize, and then at the end of the trailer, it's saying, forget what you know, as in like, forget the typical Call of Duty that you know and you've seen in the past. We're changing things up this year. And honestly, I couldn't ask for anything more. Like, I, I feel like COD has always had this crazy winning formula and it's been so great year after year after year. But now that we're 10 years into this formula, I feel like we need something new. We need something totally different. A lot of people would like to see COD go to Battle Royale. I wouldn't mind that. A lot of people also don't want to see it. So like, it, it doesn't have to be Battle Royale, but it's got to be something new that isn't just the same old, same old thing to expect every single year after year. And I mean, obviously we have small changes each year, like with COD World War II, we had the introduction of basic trainings and divisions and stuff like that. I feel like overall people didn't really like that as much compared to perks. So, you know, they, they always do try to push the boundaries a little bit, but I am hoping that based off of these keywords and based off that message at the end of the trailer, I am hoping that Treyarch is really pushing the boundaries this year and gonna give us something that we didn't expect, but we love. And I think if there was gonna be any developer out there, Treyarch's the one to do it. So, uh, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But uh, Call of Duty is coming out in October. One month early. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.